going to get now uh, more on the state of the race. NBC senior Washington correspondent Hallie Jackson is here. Hallie, good morning. So they finished off the battleground tour, the first uh, rollout yeah. of Harris Walls. Give us the state of the race on the Democratic side, then we'll talk about uh, former President Trump's campaign. Sure. On the Democratic side, Savannah, the Harris Walls team is feeling like they have some wind at their back, some momentum here moving forward for a couple of reasons. A couple of reasons here. It's that new battleground polling that we talked about here, showing that she is inching ahead within the margin of error in some of these key swing states. And when you look at independents, those numbers are interesting, too. There's some good news in there for Democrats, showing that Vice President Harris is doing better than President Biden with independents in some of those critical swing states. You've also got the money factor. The Harris camp has raked in tens of millions of dollars in a relatively short period of time. And then look ahead at what's happening a week from today. The Democratic National Convention begins in Chicago, and that is a week of primetime coverage for the Democrats. We're learning more about who some of the headliners will be. Two sources familiar with the planning tell us that former President Obama will speak, along with former President Bill Clinton, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and President Biden will be one of the headliners as well in what seems like a nod to his leadership after he withdrew from the 2024 race. In a new interview just recently, Savannah, his first since he decided to step off the 2024 ticket, he says he did so partly so as not to be a distraction for Dems. Let's talk about the Trump campaign still adjusting, it seems, to this new race and this new candidate they're facing at the top of the ticket. Yeah, there's a sense from senior advisors that this is a so-called Harris honeymoon that may not last all that long. They see the fundamentals of the race as still being fairly consistent here. And that is a real focus on two big issues, the issues that we've been talking about for months now that voters care about, the economy and immigration. On both of those issues, battleground polls show that former President Trump actually polls better than Vice President Harris on that. So there is a, a desire, I think, from those I've talked to in the Trump orbit for the former president to focus on that, to focus on policy. What we've seen from him, though, over the course of the last week, several weeks, if not longer, has been a focus on nearly anything but. He's been litigating this issue of crowd sizes, making false claims on that front, suggesting that President Biden may try to, with no evidence, reclaim the nomination at the DNC. There's nothing that would support that happening here. Uh, former, of course, Vice President Harris is looking to combat on both of those issues, going on offense on both the economy and immigration. Savannah. All right. Hallie, much to discuss. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.